Hi everyone, my name is Amici. I um, am a research assistant here with Sybil since this past fall. And since then I've been working on the mail and sac system. Um, as we've heard from other scientists throughout the day about the different applications, um, we'll be learning about how you can send in your samples for a collection. Um, as Greg said before, I manage SEC SACs, but I'll be talking about how you can send them for HP SACs as well. Um, this is the website um, for the mail-in. A lot of the information I talk about will be on this website, so if there are any extra confusion, please make sure to check it out. Um, but if you are a new user, we ask you to register with us, and this first includes uh, requesting a mail-in account. Um, and once that's done, you will also need to register with the AS, ALS and submit a rapid proposal. You will only need to do this um, once per cycle. This is mainly for the ALS to account what type of users are using the advanced light source. And then we also recommend registering with uh, simple scattering. This is mainly important for SEC SACs because this is how we will give you our data. Um, and I think uh, LJ also mentioned that it's helpful for publishing. Um, once this is all done, you can book a mailing slot on our site. And those, we will not be having shifts opening until September for the fall and winter cycle. Well, we'll open the shifts. We open the shifts in comes. September. You can book them for yeah. October. Um, starting with SEC SACs, um, just some criteria for sample prep. Uh, we require a minimum of 60 microliters of purified sample and a maximum of 100. And recommendations for concentration, anything between 3 to 10 mix per mil. If your protein is a lot smaller, say 10, 20 kilodaltons, um, definitely try to get in the higher range of concentration or else anything lower than three, you'll probably won't see any SAC signal. Um, as well, we ask for 50 mils of your 10X SEC buffer. Um, some recommendations, as McCall has said, no PBS buffer, um, TRIS, PPs, um, concentration of salt under like 500 millimolar. And we also recommend putting um, one to 2% glycerol and preventing radiation damage. And this means adding 10 to 20% in your 50 mil of SEC buffer. Um, you get up to seven samples per buffer. So if you have different samples with different buffer, we recommend booking a separate slot. Um, we can also take more than seven samples if uh, necessary for a singular buffer. Um, once your samples are prepped, um, we ask you to update some things on the mailing page, including sample details, um, such as the sample name, um, volume, and then concentration, and then definitely your expected uh, molecular weight in kilodaltons. Um, and depending on your expected weight for um, your proteins, you can pick which type of column you want. We have three different columns, all Shodex, 802, 803, and 804, and all this information is on the mail-in page. And then I also recommend um, filling out your buffer components in the case that the buffer leaks on the way. We could potentially provide buffer from our supplies. Also, please put your simple scattering email in the sample details, otherwise I will not be able to send any of the data. Um, just some like packing tips um, for your samples, please put them in Eppendorf's and I recommend labeling them one through seven based on how you put them in on the mail-in page. This is helpful for me for when I am prepping the plate and I don't have to figure out complicated protein names or such. Um, buffer, just put your lab name and your shift date, simple. And then packing, make sure you use a lot of ice packs, um, we cannot control what happens in shipping. So if samples are aggregated or such, that could result in bad sex results. Um, HT is different because our robot uses 
uh, 96 well full skirt plate, which you can find links for on our mailing page, as well as we will need these sealing mats to prevent any type of evaporation. Um, plate prep, 30 microliters of each well. Uh, try to be as consistent as you can. I know Greg mentioned that we are looking into doing less volume, potentially 10 microliters, but this is what we are at right now. And then try to keep, keep them at like a concentration gradient between one to 10 mix per mil. Um, we recommend in collection to have two identical buffers for each concentration series. So before and after, which um, is shown in this spreadsheet that we ask you to upload to run your samples. Um, so concentration series, low, medium, high, and then try to keep consistent with the buffer sandwich. And then if it's a different protein concentration series, um, make sure just to indicate a different buffer. And just some other notes. Um, it has to have an X in the collection column as well in the directory. Um, make sure you indicate where buffer is in your plate because this will help in buffer subtraction. Um, and then this will all be updated, uploaded on our civil sex database. Um, you will need to also make an account for that, which is also on the mailing page. And then just tips on packing. Um, this will actually be made with um, your shift. Um, the QR code doesn't necessarily do anything, but it will just have the label. Just make sure to have your shift date and your lab name. And then shipping, um, put it in a plastic bag, sandwich them in between two cold packs, um, and try to just keep it upright in your packaging to avoid any leakage um, during shipping. Um, once everything is packed up and ready to go, this is our uh, address. This is all over the mailing page. Um, I send out a reminder email about a week in advance of each shift date, and it will indicate a bunch of this information again. Um, you can also ship your samples on dry ice if they need to be frozen. We have a minus 80 that we can hold your samples in. Uh, make sure to label on the outside of your box if it needs to be frozen or refrigerated. This is important for the hand, uh, our shipping handlers to organize where they go. Um, and then once that's all done, update your tracking number on the mailing page. And if you happen to be close by, like Alex and Josh, I've been working with them coming on site to bring in their samples. You just have to let me know a week to a couple of days in advance, and I will bring you a guest pass for LDL. Um, just some additional information. Data is usually sent out one to two weeks after collection, depending on how many users we have. Um, call mentioned we do have office hours every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Um, you can contact Catherine in the back for that Zoom link. Um, and again, ship dates will be opening in mid-September, but we will not start collection until October. Um, and please uh, don't forget to acknowledge the goals in your papers. This helps us keep our system going. Um, again, all of that instruction will be on our Any feedback from users on the process? You guys enjoying creating so many accounts? <laughs> so many passwords? Yes. Things that you guys find annoying, things we could do better. Think of something later, let us know. I'm curious about do you want to change some of these micro Sample one. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, we've been working on the lower volume uh, one. Um, I was really hoping to get it down to you. We have about 10 micro in the well. Uh, the needle is able to pick up a uh, sample with that little volume in there, but the Biggest challenge for that is uh, that is oscillating the sample during exposure. Um, that is really helpful for uh, reducing the radiation damage. Uh, and I can't really, it's been very difficult to get the oscillation to work with, um, you know, like seven or so microliters in the needle. Um, I've had much better luck with picking up, uh, right now, we're picking up 12 microliters.
leaders um, and being able to oscillate pretty nicely. Uh, and that's really good. Um, so it looks like there's better potential for um, 15 and OL. Yeah. Um, there, and there's all associated challenges. So, you know, again, oh, we oscillate the sample in the beam, and that hugely reduces radiation damage, but encourages bubbles. So that's a trade off there. More problematic for the small volumes, we're going to have to make a decision there. So there's going to be like these trees of decisions. Um, making 10 microliter samples by hand is hard. We understand that, like, especially if you're trying a whole bunch of metabolites. So, um, Thinking about whether some of the formulating of plate needs to be done on site by us, like when we get some information from you guys, it's one protein and we have 100 small molecules or something like that, and those need to be mixed. And then we also have different plate formats that we're looking at. So um, Brandon found these like really nice cone shaped plates that are hard but not transparent, they're plastic. So we're thinking about all those things. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's all those other plates are the same format as the 90s, the standard 90s as well. Um, but the wells just have like maybe half the total volume. Um, so it makes having, having 50 microliters and you know the size of those wells um, is just very little. Um, so it's, it's a little easier with the uh, smaller wells. Um, but it's been not too bad in the um, regular size ones. 10 microliters evaporates really fast, right? So um, yeah. that's the other issue, right? And, uh, yeah, so lots of things going into it. <laughs> yeah. um, so, um, so for me, the volume is always an issue because I, most of the time, I'm um, just trying to run some of my sample there for the for measurements. So is it possible to send uh, the samples in small? Yeah, for sure. For sure. We can just uh, let us know, right? We can communicate. Hopefully, I mean, sometimes we're grumpy and annoying and problems, but, um, but if you try a couple of times, I'm sure you'll get us on a good day and we can work it out. Yeah. So there's a, a question on chat. Is it worth is there a problem with sending more than, or what is the problem with sending more than 30 microliters? There's no problem. <laughs> well, you can talk to that. Uh, it, it, so, yeah, I mean, again, we had, so with the oscillation feature, we're learning that sometimes 30 microliters is not enough, and then we get more consistent with 40. So 30 is kind of the minimum. Um, but uh, you want the volume to be consistent across the plate, that would be most helpful. So if you decide it's 50, keep it 50 across the plate, don't go 30, 50, 100, um, that causes us problems. So just let us know how much you loaded that. 